sunny skies are making a comeback. Just in time for the weekend, Lonnie Quinn is here. Imagine that. Could you imagine? After last weekend. Yes. You bet you. It seems like our weekends haven't been garnering the greatest weather, but you will get the best weather that this week has to offer for the weekend. Here's your look outside right now, and this is sort of improved from what we've had over a number of days, but you can look out there. You can see a couple of rain shafts off to the west, north and west, and there's a couple right there as well. And that's what you're going to see when I show you the radar picture. They're peppered around out there. But it's 59 degrees right now under a partly cloudy sky for Central Park. 59 as of right now. High temperature was 66. Your low was 48. You're more in line with where you should be this time of the year. I mean, three degrees off the high. You should be 69, but only three degrees cooler than average, whereas, you know, yesterday, the day before, some places were 13 degrees cooler than average. So right about where we should be. I think tomorrow, you're right smack dab in, in line with a typical early May day. This is what we've got for wet weather. So, yeah, they are, you know, they're spotty. They are out there. Uh, there's a couple that are a little bit more than just a light little shower. Uh, zoom in on some of those. We had one right here, okay, uh, sort of past between Bridgewater and Hillsborough. See that little flash right there of red? A, an isolated, short-lived, heavy downpour. There are a few of those out there. Most everybody has a light shower. You see some decent rain right now on top of 684, right before you get to the point where 684, you know, crosses over into Greenwich, Connecticut for about a mile, all right? And then you've got a little line here that's uh, just got some moderate rain making its way to 84 around Newtown, Connecticut. And that's what you're going to deal with until the sun goes down. Sun sets, all that goes away. High pressure takes over, and things look good for a number of days. So here's what we're looking at. This is a rendering of what we believe is going to happen. And at 6 p.m., which is a pretty good portrayal of what's actually out there, it's initializing just fine. Sun sets, almost all the rain goes away, a couple of light Little sprinkles may persist at 10 o'clock tonight. That's about it. Then you get to Saturday morning and, and just a beautiful looking day. Saturday looks great. Sunday morning looks great as well. This is 8 a.m. But notice we've got more clouds off to the west. Sunday's going to get more clouds than Saturday. Those clouds come in, but the rain chances, they wait until late at night. This is 1030, a rain chance Sunday night. That's the wrinkle now to that Saturday, Sunday, Monday looking so great. I think Sunday could have uh, some rain that comes in late Sunday, pushing out here by 8 a.m. Monday, maybe a little straggler there, but Monday will end up turning into a pretty good looking day. So let's get right to it, and I'll show you how things look. A lot of good things to talk about in this seven day forecast, because whereas yesterday I thought, you know, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week we're going to be wet weather days again. Now I think Wednesday looks fine. So Saturday, 70, Sunday, 74, more clouds on Sunday. There's that nighttime rain chance on Sunday. I think Monday rebounds nicely at 76. Both Sunday and Monday, a sun and cloud mix. Tuesday, you have a rain chance predominantly south of the city. And Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, looking pretty nice. We'll, we'll take it. smile. Yes. And a smile. And a smile from Lonnie. A smile can sell anything. All right.